Hey coders, what's up? Hope you guys are doing well. Chris here with episode six of how to build a shopping app. In the previous lesson, we had implemented the product details view. In this lesson, we're going to add an add to cart button on this view, which is going to allow the user to add this product to the cart in preparation for checkout. So let's hit stop on the project here and let's go into the storyboard because we're going to need to add a button to the detail view. So in the lower right hand corner, let's search for button. And then we're going to go ahead and just drag it on around right there. Let's add some constraints to it. So make sure you've got it selected. And then let's select the pin. So I'm going to get rid of constraint to margins. And I'm just going to say that this is going to be 100 from the bottom. I'm also going to hit the button and then horizontally center it in the container. So I'm going to add that constraint as well. So now let's update frames. Okay, so I have my button there. Let's run it quickly and see how it looks. Okay, so that button is going to be our add to cart button. Let's go back to the storyboard and change the text for that guy and call it add to cart. So we're going to have to update frames again just to make sure it doesn't get cut off. Now let's add an action handler for this button so that when the user taps it, uh, we're going to trigger some code to happen. Let's hit the assistant editor view. Make sure you're looking at the detail view controller.swift. Let's scroll all the way down and underneath here, right before this closing curly bracket for the class, I'm going to click the button in the document outline. I'm going to hold down control on my keyboard. I'm going to click and drag it right there and let go. Connection type is not an outlet, I want an action. So here I'm going to say add to cart tapped and touch up inside is fine. And for the type, I'm just going to hit the drop down and select UI button and connect. All right, so now I've hooked up this method to fire whenever the add to cart button is hit. Let's create some space in here and just write a couple of comments as to what we're going to do. So first of all, we're going to get the get the current product ID because we're going to need that product ID in order to add it to the cart. And then second of all, add the product to the cart. And then lastly, display a message to the user that the item has been added. Before we write the code, let's go back into the standard editor view and let's go back in the detail view controller. Uh, take note at the top, we have the detail item property, which references the product that is currently being displayed. So if we scroll down to the bottom, it's pretty straightforward. So first of all, we're going to create a new constant. Let's call it product ID, and we're going to assign to it self.detailItem and because we don't know whether there's actually a product assigned to this property or not, we're going to put the question mark there so that it doesn't crash if we're trying to access this key. And the key we're trying to access is ID. And then we're going to try to cast it as a string. Okay, so with this line, there's a couple of things that can go wrong. First of all, detail item can be nil, which is not likely because we're looking at a product. But even so, it's nice to keep that in mind. Second of all, there may not be a key named ID, even though there should be. And then lastly, we're trying to cast the value that is returned by this key. We're trying to cast that value as a string. Now, if it's not actually a string, this cast may return nil. So it's best if we check if product ID is actually containing an ID or if it's nil. So let's say if let ID equals product ID and then only if it contains an actual product ID do we do any of this stuff down here okay so let's add the product to cart if there is actually a product ID so we use molten dot shared instance oh Xcode is not detecting this keyword right here or this class and the reason is we haven't imported molten right we had to do that up here in the master view controller.swift as well. So let's 
scroll back down here now you can see that Xcode recognizes it dot shared instance dot cart oops cart dot insert item with ID that's this method right here so it accepts an item ID which is our product ID quantity and modifiers in case that there's product variations and then we can add those sorts of variations as a dictionary into this part but our product is simple we're gonna pass a nil and then finally there's a success callback if it's successfully added to the cart or there's a failure callback okay so for the item ID we're going to just fill an ID like that quantity we're gonna put one modifier so we're going to put nil and then let's expand the success callback by double clicking it and it's going to create a quote block in there for us there's one parameter in this callback handler and that's this dictionary here so I'm just gonna call it response dictionary and then we're gonna put some code in here and actually if it's successfully added to the cart we're going to display a message to the user so I'm gonna put this comment in here and if it failed let's double click that to expand it there's two parameters in this response one is the response dictionary and another we're just going to call error so in here in this callback let's say couldn't add product to cart so let's just print here something went wrong and I'm gonna put a breakpoint there in case it ever gets there so it will stop the execution and then we can inspect the response and see what went wrong so in terms of displaying the message to a user we're going to use the UI alert controller so let's write let alert equals UI alert controller we're going to create a new instance of this object and we're going to use this initializer right here so we're going to pass in the title as added to cart the message is let's just say added item to cart and the preferred style we have UI alert controller style dot we're going to choose alert and this is going to display a modal message okay so we created an alert at this point it's just going to be a modal little dialogue that pops up with no way for the user to dismiss it by default it doesn't come with an OK button so that's what we're gonna have to add so let's say alert add action so this accepts a UI alert action and I'm gonna create an instance of that in here and we're going to use the initializer this one right here so the title of this one is just going to be okay and the style is going to be UI alert action style dot we're gonna use default for just the standard uh, modal button if we used something like cancel or destructive it's gonna turn it red by default so we're gonna use default and for the handler this is a place for us to specify some code if we want to do something in response to the user tapping the OK button but we're not going to do anything so we're gonna put nil in there okay so now our modal alert actually has an OK button to dismiss it finally we have to present that modal alert to the user so we're gonna say self dot present view controller and here we're gonna pass in the view controller to present and that's going to be our alert animated let's say true and for the completion again we can specify some code in response to the alert being presented we're gonna put a nil here okay so let's run it and see what we have I'm gonna select iPad Pro here and here's our add to cart button so when I tap this this code right here is going to run it's going to grab the product ID of the product it's going to call uh, insert item with ID and then if it's successful we're going to get the alert message all right added to cart so here's the OK button that we added this is the default style and when we press OK that's it if we go back to the console for a second again you can see what API call is being made to the molten backend so the one where we called products this grabs all of the products from our store and then when I 
click the add to cart button this one is being made to the carts endpoint so that's just a good thing to know if you're digging into the documentation or you're trying to debug something that's happening with your app you know which endpoints the app is hitting in the next lesson i'm going to show you how to perform a checkout using the molten api Thanks for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, please share and subscribe. I really appreciate it, and it would help me out greatly. So thank you again, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye for now.